This is Carrie Ann and Caitlin, and we welcome you to today's episode of the Lions Roar News. Today's fun fact: Samurai only weld their katana with their right hand. The answer to this week's riddle: What is traveling? Has life? Has sense but doesn't live? The Earth. We will now go to Jackson and Christina for the sports news. Give us. The baseball team has a game tomorrow at Ash and Blazers starting at 1 o'clock. They also have a game Monday at Greenup starting at 6. The softball team has a game on Monday at home against Russell at 6. The tennis team has matches at Greenup on Monday. Our track and field team has a track meet next Friday at Bath County starting at 6. Good luck to all of our teams. Now back to you. Congratulations to Hunter Carpenter for receiving the gold medal at the Skills USA State Carpentry Competition. This is a huge accomplishment. Also, congratulations to Matthew Cooley, Eli Reif, Trenton Pelfrey, and Creighton Arnold. They are all welding champs of the Big Sandy River region. Trenton Pelfrey was named third overall welder. Congratulations to all. Today is the last day to see Miss Duff or Miss McCavitt to buy your prom tickets. Singles are 25 and couples are 40. Prom is tomorrow. Make sure all your prom plans are fine. Students, you have three more days to order your 2024 yearbook at school. After that, they can be ordered online at yearbookforever.com until the end of the school year. Our lines and the lights are cooking up something special. Tuck Everlasting, the musical. Clear schedule Thursday through Sunday. All shows will start at 6 p.m., except Sunday at 2. Also, on Saturday, there will be a dinner and an art show starting at 5 p.m. Then, Tuck Everlasting will begin at 6 p.m. See a drama kid if you would like to purchase a dinner with a show ticket included. Today's lunch is popcorn chicken or chef salad. Monday's lunch is chicken chimichanga or chef salad. We will now go to Sky and Isaac for the weather. Today you can expect highs in the 70s with lows in the 60s. This weekend you can enjoy high in the 80s with low in the 60s. These temperatures will be accompanied by cloudy skies and a chance of rain tonight. Now back to you. There are 15 more days left of school. All library books and Chromebooks are due back in the library on Wednesday. College books are due May 6th. Anyone who does not return a library book or Chromebooks will be billed for them, and seniors must have everything returned or paid in full in order to graduate. Graduation will be May 17th at 7 p.m. on the LCHS football field, weather permitting. Today's closing segment is a public service announcement about drinking and driving. Join us every Tuesday and Friday for new episodes and upcoming information. And that's a wrap for today's episode of the Lions War News. Go Lions! I was in this situation once, thinking I was cool and fitting in, but I started to crave more, which led me down a bad path. I went to jail and lost my license. I had to take classes, do community service, and pay multiple fines. And with a DUI on my record, it was hard to find a job. This led to years of depression and anxiety, which all could have been avoided if I didn't make the choice to drink. I never realized alcohol could be so addicting, that is, until I was addicted. Think before you act. Underage drinking is not worth the risk. This message is brought to you by the Stop Regional Youth Coalition and the Regional Prevention Center of Comprehend, Inc.